Hi guys, welcome to this month's What I Wore This Month. Just coming to you live from, well it's not live at all, but from Madrid with an ice lolly in hand. So obviously we're in some sunshine, which is very, very lovely indeed. And I am wearing, I actually really like this outfit. I've got on, I don't know why I said that like that would be a surprise, but I've got on a skirt from Topshop, which is quite girly, but I'm loving it. My trusty old Comme des Garcons t-shirt. A uh, denim jacket, which is also from Topshop, Aquazero shoes. I've had these for like, oh God knows, uh, over a year. They're some of the best shoes I've ever had. I wish they still made them because I would buy them in a different colour in a heartbeat. They're amazing. And then my Gucci bag, and I've had on my Ray Bans as well. And this ice lolly is just from a shop, which is called, what was it called? Harry Lola's, something like that. I can't remember, but something like that. It's so good though. It's passion fruit and mango and it tastes like a solero but it's just fruit and it's amazing it's another very very lovely day in madrid it's actually our last day here which is very sad um, and i am wearing today a very bright red top from cameo collective it's like a cami and it is longer than this i've got sort of the bottom layer tucked in so then it leaves it with an asymmetric hem through this top ruffle um, so we've got some really high waisted jeans on these are by Rachel Comey I really like them but I would say that I don't think that they're worth the money they were like over £300 they're some of the most expensive jeans I've got and they crease like they're linen it's crazy like or, when you, as soon as you sit down it's so creased over the crotch so I wouldn't say they're worth the money they are very comfortable but yeah they're just not perfect to say how much I've spent on them then I've got my dear Francis pink suede slides I wear these every single summer they're pretty worn in now because they've been so heavily worn and the Gucci bag again because that's the only one that I brought with me so yeah very sad to be leaving Madrid today and back to not so summery outfits for the rest of this video so today I feel like I've been inspired by snot shades which is all because of this silk blouse which from the Simo Duty is part of the testing basics that I'm filming at the moment I've just styled it with some white straight leg jeans these are the H&M ones which are my current face they fit me so well I absolutely love them also got on my new Dries Van Noten um, yellowy suede shoes which I bought in Madrid I've been wearing these all the time they're like sunshine and I love them so much they're so comfortable I absolutely love them and then my um, crop mango cotton trench style jacket I actually prefer how the outfit looks without the jacket but it isn't quite not quite at a temperature just yet to go jacketless um, but yeah quite simple a bit of color but a nasty color in a good way good ugly I'm always talking about good ugly so we are just about to go out for an afternoon of drinking basically it's quite a lovely day and I think I'm a bit overdressed because we are just going for the pub but you know when you feel like getting a bit dressed up so you just go for it that's what I did inspired by Carla Duras my old time in Spo I just got on the, I normally wear this t-shirt to bed it's from H&M I've had it for like literally probably six years something as ridiculous as that um, and I've just rolled up the sleeves rolled at the bottom and pinned it in different places it's taken me ages lots of fussing and I just went on her Instagram and saw how she does it like she cuts up the t-shirts and stuff like that and then I've got these insane trousers which from Paul Smith they're my absolute favourites because I so struggle with finding wide leg pants like this that are long enough so if you are tall, I'm about five foot eight, and if you have that problem as well, these are solving it at the perfect length. And I've got them on with heels, my Aquazora Wild thing, sandals, just because I'm going to be on my feet a lot, and these are really comfortable. So this is my outfit. I'm going to throw on a leather jacket for practicality, but I'm not going to show you that bit because I wish I didn't have to wear the jacket, basically. And then I'll probably pop some sunnies on as well. So I've got a vintage outfit on today, mostly, which I know is a bit annoying because you can't go buy it but I will find it as similar as I can online. Um, the jacket's new, vintage. It's like a men's blazer, so it's quite big on the shoulders, which is why I'm trying to keep it with the sleeves rolled up. I always find when you've got that extra material gathering here, it balances out a really oversized shoulder a bit more. Um, and again, to balance that, I've got a skinny top on. It's just a ribbed uh, sleeve and snip, which is from H&M. Belt. Oh, where's the belt from? I think it's from the Simo Duty, the belt. I've had it for ages. Vintage Levi 501s again. Something else I've referred to these shoes is some Saint Laurent pumps. I believe the style is called Paris. I've got them in grey and also black suede. Um, they're just buy them once and have them forever kind of a shoe because they go with everything. And then my little Reve Barcelona bag. I'm particularly enjoying this bag with this jacket. It seems like a very match made in heaven kind of moment going on. 
So this is the final outfit for this video and it's a bit of a lazy one, truth be told. I'm having a lazy day with like bad hair, bad makeup, all the rest. Um, and it's kind of a bit cold, hence the knit. So I've got on this knit which is from Mads Norgard. It's super oversized, but at least the colour makes it feel a bit more spring, summery because it's light. Um, my H&M jeans again because I'm wearing them all the time. Topshop denim jacket. I think I had this on in the first outfit, didn't I? The Topshop denim jacket. So again as well and my Loewe Escadrilles too, um, which are part of the next testing basics. And then my Fendi um, Toujours bag. I haven't worn this in quite a while actually, but this colour complements this out very, very nicely. So yes, that's everything for this video. I hope you've enjoyed all the outfits that I wore this month and I'll see you in the next one.